I'm back again now with Vern, and um, Vern, you've been a volunteer all your life. But just about uh, all my life. In yeah. all different paths of life, you've been. Yeah. Yeah. I got a few uh, awards, but I didn't ask for it. No, but you well deserved them. And uh, you're uh, very involved with the Porty Grave Heritage Society. Yes, that's right. I was for a long time now, but yeah. a few years it kind of went down. And yes. As, uh, but since they've been since regenerated. Been, yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, uh, you've been playing an active role because I know that whenever there's anything to be built, you're there to do it. I always, uh, I'm still at it, you know. Right. Uh, whenever there's anything done, like in a, a way of accounting or work like or something more like that, I've been yeah. mostly there. So tell us now why preserving the history of the peninsula is so very important to well, you. Well, well, I'd like to see more of the young crowd involved. Yeah, if you don't, you know, we'll soon we're getting up yes, now. I, that's I right, mean, yeah. I'll soon be eighty six, eh? <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, you yeah. um, the ones are some younger ones involved, eh? Yes. To carry it on, eh? You know, if there's not someone to carry the torch, we're going to go out, eh? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the Fishman's Museum over there, uh, I know you play the part, and when bus tours come, even when it's not open, you've always, yeah, they've always contacted you to go and open the Yes, I've been out a door. few times now, even lately, the fall, when someone have come here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was out there a while ago, and the lady came down on a picture of her father. There was there a boat builder up in Fox Harbor, Prudential Bay. Right on. And that was her father on the picture there. I enjoyed talking to her, you know. Yeah. I always enjoyed meeting people, even when the buses used to come down there years ago. Yes. I'd gather out on the hill, and they'd be gathered around me. I don't know where they understood all I said I no. want, you know. I used to say to them, you wonder why anyone lived on all the rocks and hills, and they thought that was great, you know. Oh yes, but you sure coming now from probably someone, yeah. maybe New York City now, or yeah, Toronto, that's right. you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite different. And uh, there have been uh, many visitors to the museum, haven't it? Yes, there have been a nice few there a year too, yes. eh? There it's quite cold. Nice few there a year when it's open for the students. Only for the students, I don't know what had happened to it. If we no. can't get a student in the summer, I don't know what had happened to it, eh? No. But so far, we've been very, very fortunate like that, eh? Yes, they're a great, uh, they're yeah. a great bunch of uh, yeah. people. We were out there this summer. They were excellent. Yeah. So, Vern, uh, I'm going to change the subject now. Uh, I was chatting with you yesterday, and we were talking about um, your, how you met your wife, Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's t let's talk about that now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now, how did you manage now to get over to Bay Roberts now to? Uh... Well, I guess when I got old enough and had a bike, and some of the young fellas went off, and I probably chased them, eh? Right on. Uh, I know. I might have had a girlfriend or two down there, eh? Yes. And right now, Shirley can't understand till this day <laughs> why I, w I used to ride the bike to Mercer's Cove from Bay Roberts. Uh, I think there's around 13 kilometres now. I would say. Not as many miles, 10 kilometres now. And that's all, only one way. That's back and forth, right? Eh? Right on. And where the rain, and uh, wind. But the worst I used to mind coming on night was dogs. Oh, the dogs. I was afraid dogs would chase me. Whatever I could put the pedals around, I'd go around. <laughs> There'd be animals on the road then, horses, because everyone at most had a horse then, eh? Right. Uh, you know? Yeah. On the road, net, eh? Yes. But uh, didn't think of twice on. And if sometimes in the winter, I guess when they're slippery and that, we walked, eh? Oh, there we and go. And we got older then, you know, got yeah. old enough to drive. And Dad had a yeah. truck. I wasn't old enough to get my license then, eh? No, that's I right. I had to wait two years. I wasn't old enough, eh? Very good. Yeah. 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 But now, surely don't know what I tell you. I think I said I could have got a girlfriend down there, but no, it wasn't to be, I guess. <laughs> no, so, that's right. You were meant to be together. And we moved in here the first night we got married. Oh, was that right? And I had those built in two years before we got married. Oh, very we built good. built in 53 and we got married in November of 55. Oh, very good. We're only two or three weeks away now from our 65th anniversary. 65th anniversary. Yeah, uh, November 10th, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, uh, and that's one thing, I think a lot of your family got all got married in November. Uh, yes. The majority of them? Yes, most all, Blair, Ina, and uh, uh, more than that. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I can't remember all of them, but I know they got married in November, around the same date, you know, right. within the day or so. And, and is there a saying why they all got married in, the, uh, in November? Because why did they all get married in November? I don't is know. Is it something to do with the fishing? 
No, well, I don't you know. Don't well, you, 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 you'll never have time to get married to somebody at the end of your dad busy, eh? That's right. Like old fashioned say the, the fish and no fish wedding in the fall. Yes. But uh, there was a, a busy time then. Yeah, oh my, oh my. I remember a time saying, if I got hardly any sleep, dad just said to me, you're not going to stand it, boy. You got to get a bit of sleep. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we'd be up early then. Oh uh, yes, fishing. for sure. Two, yeah. two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. That was ordinary, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Okay.